everyone, I am Lydia from Novelty, and today we're going to be doing my To Be Read book tag, and I'll link the person who I got the tag from in the description below, so let's get started. Number one, how do you keep track of your To Be Read pile? Well, I mostly like have a stack of books that I need to read. A lot of the books I have on my pile are books for review, so it's easy to keep track of them. I just write down where I got them and when they're supposed to be reviewed. And then I also have a shelf on Goodreads where I keep track of other books that I want to read, mainly ones that are not to be reviewed, just for fun. Number two, is your TBR pile mostly print or mostly ebooks? And I would say mostly print books because although I have several books, on my Kindle that I really want to read. Most of the books that I am chomping on the bit to get to are those books back there, which are print books. Number three, how do you determine which book on your TBR pile will be read next? Mostly simply from which book needs to be reviewed next because I would say that like 80% of these books are books to be reviewed and so therefore I just have to go down the stack of okay, this one needs review next and then this one and then this one. Number four, which book has been on your TBR pile the longest? That would be Evidence Not Seen, and it has been on my TBR bookshelf on Goodreads since October of 2014. Number five, what book did you most recently add to your TBR list? That would be this book. I don't know what book it is yet, but I just received it in the mail from Tyndale Publishing, and so therefore, it's on my to be read pile next. And let's see what it is. rule of law. So when I first saw this, I thought it was a nonfiction title. And then as I read the blurb, I realized it's actually a mystery, a suspense mystery. So it looked really interesting though. And it's written by somebody who used to be in the government or something like that, I think. I don't know. But so yeah, I hope it's not too scary because I do not like scary books, but I like interesting mysteries. Number six, what book is on your TBR pile simply because of its beautiful cover? Well, I don't really currently have any of those right now. I'm not exactly somebody who generally goes for a book simply because of the cover, but this is one book I got from the library recently and I have read it and I was drawn to the cover right away. Number seven, an unpublished book on your TBR pile that you're excited about. God's Crime Scene for Kids is an arc that I'm currently reading and I'm really excited about it because it is a fantastic way for kids to learn about how the world has like a designer behind it. And Number eight, a book on your TBR pile that everyone has read besides you. That would probably be Crazy Love by Frances Chan and I'm currently reading it right now though so I don't know if it exactly applies to being on my TBR pile but so far it's amazing and it's no wonder that everyone else has been reading it. Number nine, a book on your TBR pile that everyone has been recommending for you to read. I actually don't have any of those, probably because a lot of the books I get are new-ish books, and so therefore a lot of people haven't had time to recommend them to me. Number 10, a book on your TBR pile that you're just dying to read. I don't currently have one on my TBR pile that I'm just like wild about, but I did just start reading Running on Empty by CJ Darlington. And if I had not started that, then that book would definitely be on that list. And last but not least of all, how many books are on your TBR bookshelf on Goodreads? And I only put books on there that I really, really want to read because I do not like having a long list because it makes me feel unproductive and overwhelmed. So I only have 31 books on there and I am happy to keep it nice and short. That's it for today, folks. Thank you so much for joining me. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because that would be so amazing.